<laughs> if you come across the thingy rods before, that's the rod, it's made of aluminium. A lovely company called Educational Innovations, I've known for years, said it, and they said, provided you hold the middle of the thing and stroke it, it'll make a very loud noise. It does, too. My goodness, it does. So what you've got to use is rosin powder. I use this in chicken cups as a toy I've had for years. It's amber that's been pulverized and makes your hand quite sort of almost sticky. So you've got to hold it exactly in the middle, and that's going to be the still point, and these are going to vibrate invisibly, but up and down, making a loud noise. And a persistent noise, too. That goes on for a long time. That's loud. But I haven't yet mastered is there's other positions to hold it on there or there or there where you get a second and a third node as they show in the picture. You're supposed to be able to get it at the third point. I think it's that way up like that. I can't get those other notes, but there should be different notes if you hold it in different positions. But certainly the easiest one for me is to hold it in the middle, just stroke it, and away you go. It makes a loud noise. Wow. Singing metal. Here's another example, very well known, and we've had versions of this on our website. It's a, a bell that my niece found in the trip to Nepal, I think it was. So there's a clapper, I've taken the clapper out, and I've got to um, use a stick to go with it, which will make the sound. It makes the noise like a bell, but if you, instead of that, you wet it, I, I better like that, have a go, and you should be able to get this to sound. That's, that's, that's the tone it makes, and with a bit of gentle turning like that. Like the old wine glass, which I often use at restaurants. Wet the finger and then away you go. My all-time favourite toy is a large basin of this, where you rub it and that fountain comes up. The um, singing fountain bowl we've had on our website for many years. It's still being made, it's still wonderful, but this is where it all comes from. And of course you can have a series of, of uh, brass, bowl, bronze bowls, which allows you to play orchestra like, a, or like an xylophone. So singing metal is two very nice examples of noises from metal. The last one is uh, far from being metal, it's plastic, but it's the loudest noise I know. It's astonishing how this works. It's so small. The trick is this drum skin on the end. And it's so constructed that the noise, the air, when you, when you push in, when you put blow in there, that bit there, which I will, the air goes in around the outside and is forced into the centre and comes out making a noise like this. <laughs> I'm only breathing quite gently. I could actually blast the neighbourhood if I really pushed hard. What's fun about it, of course, is you can add pieces to it to make the notes different. <laughs> and some more. We provide all these with the kit. <laughs> and another one. Lower and lower and lower. <laughs> and the final one. I could get one a half a mile long, do you think? <laughs> that could be very loud, but I won't disturb the neighbours. But a wonderful invention, that one, too, and fairly recently, in the last 20 years or so, I've come across it. A great noise toy. Still with some more noises to find, I feel. You? <laughs>